Hey everybody, Sean here, and today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into Jordan Peele's Nope. We're going to be going over the main message of the movie and maybe even clear up some confusion. As always, if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to let me know. Spoilers ahead, and let's get into it. Now, in case you haven't seen my review of the movie, or even the film itself, first off, I suggest you watch both, but more importantly, you might not know what the movie's about. On the surface, this movie is about a few people trying to capture evidence of the existence of an alien creature terrorizing an isolated ranch in California. Now, there's a lot more jam-packed in there, so in case you don't know much, I'll try to explain everything as well as I can. Nope is at its heart a cautionary tale, and its primary message surrounds spectacle, man's hunger for it at the expense of animals, as well as potentially amazing things that can happen as a result of horrifying situations, referred to in the movie as bad miracles. These two ideas can kind of branch off into their own different kinds of discussions, but I'll try my best to keep them together while explaining things. Animal exploitation for the purpose of entertainment or spectacle is the primary theme of the movie, and is incredibly prevalent throughout the entire film. The opening scene of the film is the aftermath of the horrific events that took place on the set of Gordy's home. This will be explored shortly. During the first part of the movie, main character OJ's father is killed after being struck in the head by a coin falling from the sky, after being spit out by the movie's alien star, Jean Jacket. An almost impossible shot requiring his father to be in the exact spot at that exact time results in his death. This is the first example of what later would be called a bad miracle. Slightly further in the film, OJ is preparing a horse for a commercial, but things go wrong when the cast and crew ignore his words of caution and end up stressing out the horse to the point of it kicking over part of the scene. Early in the movie, these two major things are shown to the audience, front and center, and only get built on further from there. Now, the idea of an alien organism flying around, barely ever being seen, and feeding off people and animals alike certainly fits the idea of a bad miracle, as well as everything that takes place as a result of its presence. It is something so unbelievable and amazing, yet at its core a horrible thing. The entire plot of the movie surrounds basically the exploitation of this alien creature for the purpose of achieving fame. The main characters spend a great amount of time discussing the potential great things that would befall them after capturing this being on film, without really considering the negative things that could come with it, until it's much too late. At this point, the character of Ricky Jupe Park must be mentioned to continue the discussion. Steven Yoon's character is the center of this movie's message. As a child, he was part of the cast on a short-lived sitcom by the name of Gordy's Home, in which another star member of the cast was a live chimpanzee who played the titular Gordy. During the filming of Gordy's birthday episode, the sound of a balloon popping sends the chimp into a crazed rampage, which results in all of two but the main cast members being horrifically mauled and killed. Ricky survived physically unharmed, hiding underneath a table, however witnessing every bit of the carnage. Once Gordy relaxed, he approached Ricky, drenched in blood, and attempted to give the young boy a fist bump before being shot and killed by the police. One of the first and last things we were shown during these flashback sequences is a blue shoe from one of Ricky's co-stars standing completely upright on its heel, despite the violence surrounding it. This is another example of a bad miracle. This horrific event greatly traumatized Ricky, but because the chimp didn't attack him, it also gave him the impression that he had the godlike ability to tame wild and violent animals. Ricky would then cruelly feed horses to Jean Jacket for the purpose of showing off the extraterrestrial creature, for spectacle, both exploiting the horses and Jean Jacket in a single move. When one of the horses he attempts to feed Jean Jacket refuses to cooperate, the alien instead turns on the crowd. Ricky's last show would be a grim recreation of the Gordy's Home Massacre when the man fails to tame what cannot be. Something further driving this point home is Ricky's only surviving co-star from the Gordy's Home incident. The horrifically disfigured Mary Jo Elliott is there when the alien attacks, once again becoming the victim to this kind of event. However, nobody survives when Jean Jacket attacks. It is only when Jean Jacket is understood as an aggressive animal that needs to be respected does the horror end. Jean Jacket reveals its true form before being killed by the combined efforts of Emerald and OJ. It's worth mentioning that both Gordy and Jean Jacket meet their end because of human beings attempting to exploit them, both really just lost animals forced into a situation and environment where they don't belong. Although it should be mentioned that the predatory Jean Jacket is much more of an antagonistic force than the chimpanzee. There are other minor cases of exploitation leading to death, such as the TMZ reporter or the cinematographer wanting all the fame for himself, both dying because of their hunger for content at the hands of Jean Jacket. In conclusion, like previously mentioned earlier in the video, Nope is a cautionary tale about the horrors of animal exploitation in order to create spectacle. There are multiple characters and events in this movie that put this message front and center, and the continuous mention of bad miracles turns the idea of actual miracles on its head as nothing good comes out of what these people try to do. I hope you all liked this video. It's the first of its kind on this channel, and if you enjoyed this and want to see more, let me know by liking and subscribing. Maybe leave a comment to let me know what you thought or if there's anything I missed.
Thank you for watching if you made it to the end. I'm Sean from Atomic Productions. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.